All right, everyone, welcome back to the Circle Club. I am here with the man, the myth, the legend himself, Corey of What's Next. If you want Marvel content, you need to go and follow this man on YouTube and TikTok. He has predicted every single thing that has happened in this show. And honestly, overall, in this whole phase, Corey's been pretty spot on, so you don't want to miss that at all. Um, Corey, thanks for coming on. Right off the bat, my man, I'm not going to waste any time with you here. We're talking predictions, right? So we saw a lot of crazy things happen throughout this episode. And one thing that in particular really struck me and, 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 you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe this is an out there theory or stretch, but now we see Kamala talking about how she can't make circles, they gotta be stars, and, you know, she's traveling oh. through time, and then we know America Chavez does sort of a similar thing with different dimensions. I think there has to be some sort of connection there. Uh, do you see anything there at all, or what do you think? Yeah, you know, like like we talked about, I'm talking about a lot of different things. One of the mm -hmm. things I predicted was Kamala was gonna be the one who threw out the trail of stars for her grandmother, right? Yeah. And I think when you start thinking about the, the the similarities between things, right? America Chavez is very specific with her star-shaped powers, right? Yes. So Kamala even addressing, like, I don't do stars. And then stars happening, I think, is no co coincidence. I think yes. it's a tease very intentional. to a future very intentional tease there right and i think the reason for that is some things that we've talked about on the west what's next channel right is the the dynamic of these new aspects that they're putting into this phase right universes and the general multiverse yep. and dimensions right yep. and the thing that i discussed on the what's next channel in depth to keep a high level here for you is america chavez is that character that's giving us giving our superheroes the ability to hop between universes and now we're seeing a little bit of that dynamic with the bangle and kamala's powers being able to only be the one that it can access uh her 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 home dimension uh for the gin right mm -hmm. but also we're seeing now that she can go back in time so this gives us that horizontal behavior that we need from our hero to be able yep. to jump to maybe a different dimension or jump to a different time period. And this all leads, for me personally, to my man Kang. So yes. I think they have a lot of those signs there, especially given phase four. And I know that's been a big problem for a lot of people out there and wondering where are they going with this stuff? I think, and I think the thing is too, is we, we've been sort of, like you said, at loss about where we're heading, where we're going. I think this is a pretty clear indicator that our heroes, or even the ones that we have left, the Avengers per se, uh, they're going to lose. And they're going to lose because they don't have the ability to go through the different dimensions, time travel, deal with some of these uh, huge gods and eternals and things like that. So now we need th these superpowers and superheroes who have the ability to time travel and dimension because you've seen a, we see a lot in the comics, Avengers Forever in particular, where they are running back in time and Kang will literally chase them or, or Kang the Conqueror will literally chase them and, and that's going to be a big component, I think, going forward. And I don't know if fans are really ready for it, but it's going to be very fine. And that's why it's so important to keep watching these shows, just to get the details, little spots. Um, but another big thing happened throughout this. Kamala's mother and grandmother now know she has powers. And we see her pick up that little broken S, right, of her chain, which is of clearly part of the Miss Marvel logo, mm -hmm. part of her costume. I think that we're going to see Kamala's mother and father make a fire suit for her. And you said last, um, a couple weeks ago, too, you're like, notice how the father made the costume. I think it's going to come full circle, right? So mm -hmm. I think that's another prediction I see happening. Yeah, I think uh, that's a great prediction, right? I think you start thinking about some of the elements like I talked about. She's getting these low-key pieces throughout yep. the show, and they're throwing a lot of hints at it too, right? Uh, her parents, right, not wanting her to go to AvengerCon, but they're willing to go out of their way to help make her an outfit, right? Like, yep. they really did not like the Captain Marvel outfit, but they're like, hey, you can do this, right? Yes. And they're showing that willingness, right? And I think a lot of times throughout the show, the biggest problem we've had is the fact that, is the fact that, um, they have not been accepting of the individuals or her going off and doing these random things, right? Mm -hmm. And now that they have accepted that she's a superhero, right? Yeah. And they know this is who she is. This is that final step into them being fully accepting of these things that she's doing, right? And I think, yeah. especially for her mother, coming full circle and being like, hey, like this, this is meant to be, right? Yes. I think it's gonna lead them 
them to being the ones that help with that. And I think the biggest indication towards that is at the end when her mother picks up uh, Kamala's necklace with the Miss Marvel logo that we already know, right? Yes. So I think that's the clear and obvious indication that she is most likely going to be the one that helps design that suit. And especially when you think about the suit, she doesn't need anything really other than some regular clothes. Her yeah. powers give her that shielding ability. Yes. So I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, one thing I have to ask you about, and we, we talked a little bit about this prediction over on uh, what's next so you can hear more about it, is Bruno. Do you think Bruno will stay with Kamala or, or, or do you think he, was, he goes to college? What do you think about that? Yeah, you know, I go pretty in depth on this on the What's Next channel, but my answer is I think he is gone. I think Kamala is clearly leveling up her abilities very, rather quickly. I think mm -hmm. Bruno is also extremely smart. And I think the character that he's going to need to be uh, is, is probably even smarter, right? Because Kamala is going to provide a lot of that punch, but I think Bruno does provide that guidance. And I think yeah. especially when you bring in the DODC and their involvement, mm. he is not really going to want to mess up his future, right? Especially going to Caltech. That is a nice school. So I, <laughs> yeah, I, really, yeah, yeah. I really, you take that into effect. The fact that Kamala really is showing some other guys um, interest over Bruno, who clearly has a thing for her. I think it's going to lead him to distance himself. And yeah. especially given that the Marvels is coming out next year. Bruno cannot really be involved, I think, with those higher power entities with Monica and Carol Danvers. So I, I think, think that's another reason. Why. I think we might see him take a break, level up his skills, right? Really, once he goes there and he can kind of become that Ned character. But like Ned is sort of like a MacGuffin where he's like he's in there because they need to move the plot and like Spider-Man needs help. But he's not. I mean, he's smart, right? They're going to MIT, um, which all connects back the way, by the way, back to Riri, which we'll get into another video. But I think if he goes to school, he'll be able to learn those skills and be a, 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 a value and an asset to her later when she really needs him. Um, let me ask one quick question for you before we head out of here. Uh, do you think we're going to see any cameos in this final episode? Now, we think Miss Marvel could show up, right, potentially. Um, I sort of think Nick Fury could possibly show up, um, but give me your mm -hmm. take. You nailed it on the head, my friend. Nick Fury is my bold prediction on who I think comes in the show. The reasoning for that is I think you're saving a lot of the the higher entity individuals like a, a Captain Marvel and things like that. It wouldn't really just make sense for her to just pop into Jersey City, right? Yeah. Or any of these places. So the reason why I'm really sticking with Nick Fury is we haven't seen Nick Fury in a long, long time, right? Mm -mm. It's been really since he got snapped away Endgame, uh, yeah. in Infinity War right before mm -hmm. Endgame. Um, that was the last experience and him calling yeah. Captain Marvel, right? And the second time we really see him after these are in the, um, in the Spider-Man Far From Home. And that's really just a scroll, right? Yeah, it's right. not actually that's Nick Fury. And then secondly, you go to WandaVision, right? And more importantly, here's another scroll instance where they're telling Monica that he wants to see you up 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 there right and we yeah. know up there is nick fury right so nick fury's been working on some bigger things yes. up in space with sword and with secret invasions coming up and the marvels coming up next year i think it's the perfect time to inject fury right back in and get on uh, miss marvel's radar to provide a little bit more of a connection as to why she ends up working with the Marvels at the end of the day because we know he's going to be working with Monica. We know he's already working with Captain Marvel, but the one he hasn't worked with yet is Miss Marvel. And this is her last project before mm. the Marvels, so he has to come in here. Love it. Bold prediction. And then give me a quick yes or no. Do you think Kamala's going to actually figure out how to open up these doorways and new dimensions in this season? Or is that going to happen maybe in the Miss Marvels? I think it's going to happen in the season. I think they're clearly, even though okay. this this has been a little slow on episode five, the overall pacing is good. And like I said, given the phase that we're in and what they're doing with America Chavez and Doctor Strange 2 and what we're going to do with the Marvels, I really think Kamala has been leveling herself up throughout this episode, the series because of something bigger that's gonna happen in the Marvels. And I think to what I've been talking about with the ability to travel between dimensions, it's gonna be key for Kamala. So I would say it's very important given the fact that Najma is probably gonna be going after her through Kamran's body, yep. that she's gonna need some type of an ability to open up this doorway to that dimension. 
Love it. Love to see it. Shout out to Papa uh, Corey of what's next over there. Papa, what's next? Um, all right, guys, comment down below what you think, some of your predictions about Miss Marvel, her future in the MCU, what you think will happen. Corey, thank you for coming on as always. Make sure you go check out his video over what's next. So we do a full video discussing all of this in way more depth. Corey, my man, thank you for coming on as always. Everyone, remember, just be you. Peace. Wow.